Leave it to me. Uh, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always short-handed, so I'm sure they could use help if anybody still can't decide. That's all for today. Realtor's doing the three-legged race, Osaka's running the marathon, and Sakayaza cheerleader. You are might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Was you the one we found that just chills in the library? Or is that Nagasaki or something? Oh god, excuse me, I got hiccups, let me just have a drink. <laughs> <clears throat> Today is a sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Library, first aid tent, cheerlead... Oh, okay, well, that guy's uh, library buddy. He's going to be chilling in the library. Pigeon friend's going to be doing the third legged race. Master Q is going to be doing the marathon. Um... I don't know who this guy in the first A10 is, I better investigate. Salutations! Oh, it's that guy's brother. Mmm, I don't really remember these names. Salutations! Did you come to gaze into my eyes, mon ami? Uh, I heard the first A team was short-handed. Salutations? Alas, spurned for the sake of medicine. I must work harder to prove my love. Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Uh, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Beyond me, mon ami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't, shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds on the racetrack. Uh, what's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birds graduating from this school get scouted by pro sports teams. So maybe he's checking in on the promising ones. Uh-oh. They've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. I must say this music in the background is slightly repetitive. It's quite nice. So I spent the sports festival patching up damaged doves with you. I learned some first aid from him. So I think it was time well spent. I think. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. We're halfway through the term already, Jesus. We're getting getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. Spleeny! Yes? You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all. And Mr. Nakai seems happy with me too. Yay! With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? There's Ewa. Ewa, what's going on? Salutations, Xavier. And Brian won his seventh pol... Pulitz, uh... He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard that name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's very skilled and insightful rider. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidgey Olympics. What? <laughs> He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, mon ami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Xavier. Probably should have chosen a woman's name. It feels a bit awkward now. Hmm. Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the. Store, infirmary. The infirmary, the doctor's gonna be there. He wants to drag me up, probably. Cafeteria, maybe. Store. Let's go to the store. 
I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things on sale. Though these nest building materials look like what you find in a human store trash. My, how very mature of you, mon ami. Planning to settle down already? Is it that guy again? Oh, wow. Wow. You are. No, no, that's not it. I'm, uh, I'm still a high school student. That may be so. But you know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of our birth. And I'm single and ready to pringle, if you, if you know what I mean. They do? That seems a bit hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, you are? Your love, of course. My... Love? You are that... <laughs> We're not. I'm not good enough. Oh well, I'll have to try again later. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? I think that's a little rude. I'll let it slide, you know, he's, he's working his moves. He's doing a good effort. It's not like it's surprising coming from him. Should I play hard to get? Is that what he wants? Hmm. Hmm. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. End. Let's do math. We haven't done math. I always find myself wondering what the math we learned is good for. <laughs> Jesus. And now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... Is this math class or nap time? Good lord. Good lord. I do I? Save your leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Oh, wisdom. That's probably important during the... Exams. Today is Tanabata. That's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'm gonna make a wish. Am I living in a cave? I s we still haven't addressed this. Well, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Can you hear the song of the stars above? Maybe they send you happiness, mon ami. You are. Is that. It's probably that. It's probably the, it's probably the pudding guy, to be honest. Kusan. I'm just gonna call him Kusan. Morning conference. Morning conference on tenth. Leave thirty minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time? Nana key. Wednesday is garbage day. Remember. What should I wish for? Conquer the world by force. Rule the world from the shadows. Become a famous artist. Hmm, I'm feeling... Feeling probably ruling the world from the shadows is the way to go. I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, hello. Is that you, Spleeny? Mr. Mackay! You should be careful out this late. It's dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk to your place? And then walk you into bed? Yes. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, I'm yes, please. Yes, please. All right. All right. All righty then, lass. Master Nakai demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. In my cave. Your house is very rustic, Spleeny. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. What a tease. And so he left, a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Today is an elected day. What should I do? Attend? What does Charisma do? I'm just gonna do music again. That seems nice. I've been placed in charge of the Tim... Timpani today. Last time it was the gong. What am I supposed to be? The musical gorilla? Yes. <laughs> Charisma increased by five. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. God damn, this year is going quick. Spleeny, sir. Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. Is that because I did math? Is that it? Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Jesus, I don't even know if that was 45 minutes of gameplay. Okay. 
Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading pretty soon. Today is the closing ceremony. There are even fewer birds in here than usual. Am I the only one? Well, that makes my job easier. But I'm probably not alone. I've seen this situation before. Nagaki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nagaki? Please be quiet in the library. <laughs> Hello! You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? Nope. I was just wondering if you were here. Of course. I'm always here. Because I like you. And your body. He replies from his corner in a somewhat annoyed tone. Oh, the book he's holding. That's assigned reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. The whole concept is insane. Why force everyone to read the same books? It is pretty boring most of the time. What do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. So you want me to recommend something? He nods. What about... <coughs> uh, Night on the Galactic Railroad, Orihato. Hmm. Galactic Railroad, maybe a bit of sci-fi in there. Don't really know what Orihato is. Pretty, pretty spooky. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna go for broke. What about My Little Nicobar Can't Be This Cute. I've, uh, I've made a grave error here. I've, I've made a grave error. I've never heard of that name before. What is it? It's a light novel that came out last month. It's about an incredibly to Sandre Nicobar with a complex and her faceless male protagonist brother and, I see, he sounds extremely uninterested. Don't look down a light, Norals. Korenko is cute. Yeah, I probably should have just gone with the weird sci-fi cool one. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Good thing I live in a cave. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Um. Ooh, wish you were right. Nice, nice. Uh. What the hell? What is this, attack on the pigeons? Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start the vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I go once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, palathotic... Yeah, pa paleothotic homing instinct? The sun's setting. I'd rather not be asleep outside. Hey, you... Hmm. Ooh, there's another bird. I don't know you, where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. I don't know what this music is, but I'm ready for a Pokemon battle. Her wing is resting on her motor scooter. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeonton's. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way here? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. Jesus, what? <laughs> must have gone on quite the adventure. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Yeah, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the way... I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at a scooter. It's a little small, but we could both fit, I think. Thank you, um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. <coughs> oh my, let me have a drink, excuse me. <coughs> Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami. Oh, music over. Ah, oh, beautiful sky. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident's all it would take, and that's the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've 
lost someone, you will understand.